morning. Happy Wednesday for me. Happy Thursday for you. We have a lot going on today and I've got to get it done. My hair is still wet, of course, but I really want to go ahead and get started on these errands. So I'm really debating on like going with my hair wet, but I don't know yet. I still need a breakfast, so maybe it'll dry by then. Anyways, so today I have a few errands to run. So first I have to go by the DMV and get my car put into my name and all that stuff. So I have all this paperwork and all that to do. I'm not really sure how long that'll take, so I want to knock that out first. And then I have some work to do. I'm trying to do some work now before I go, and that way when I go, all I have is like some work to do on my phone, answer emails and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna come back here and probably it'll be lunchtime because everybody in the and their mama knows that the DMV takes forever. So I'm not banking on being back before lunch. It is currently 8.45. They opened at 8.30. But I, I'm really debating going with my hair wet because like I really honestly don't care. It's super yucky outside. So I'm kind of like... Hmm. I don't really care what it looks like today, but I do need to eat breakfast before I go, so I'm gonna do that. And then I, today, you guys are gonna come along with me as I do a bunch of errands. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, guys, my hair is officially, well, mostly dry. So we are gonna head to the DMV. I have my packet of information. Got my coffee, got my camera, and we're gonna go. My phone is fully charged in case I have to wait a while. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I'm really not banking on it because the DMV always takes a long time. And plus, everything's just starting to reopen. So I feel like maybe a lot of people are out today. That's why I didn't go yesterday. I was hoping maybe if I went today that it wouldn't be as many people, but I'm not banking on it. All right, guys, it only, I'm gonna give them props because it only really took me about, I got in there at probably 9.45 and it is 10.12, so 30 minutes is not that bad. I mean, I really only had to wait in line for probably 20 of those and then it took about 10 minutes to do what I needed to do, so it wasn't bad at all. Um, and I brought my handy dandy grocery bags. If you haven't already, if you watch my apartments must-haves video, I talk about those in there, but you, you just have to have reusable bags. Like they carry so much more and you can carry the whole load up three flights of steps and it's not as bad as carrying plastic bags. Plastic bags hurt your hands. These you can put over your shoulder kind of like a purse and just chunk them up this step. So we are done with that. Erin, now we have to go to the grocery store and pick up just a few things. I've got a bunch of stuff last week. I just have to pick up a few things like Windex and Pepsis and just little stuff like that. But I'm not going to bring you guys with me because the grocery store is crazy nowadays. And I just want to get in and get out. So I will do a haul once I get home. But I will see you then. Hello, we are back home. That wasn't that bad at the grocery store. I mean, it definitely could have been worse. There wasn't a whole lot of people there, which was good. I made sure to stay away from everybody still, even though things are opening back up. Still don't wanna to get too close to people. But I wanna show you guys what I got from the store. This is like a mini haul. I didn't really get a whole lot of things for like dinner. It's just some stuff that we needed. So I'm gonna show you guys that now. And all this fit into two of my reusable bags so another reason to have reusable bags i feel like if i would use plastic bags i probably would have had like at least five of those all right this is in no particular order adam wanted jalapeno poppers to make in the air fryer so i got those and we got who run out of vegetable oil we use that a good amount when we cook not every single time but we use it a lot and then these two you guys know I'm following the curly girl method and with that you're supposed to use shampoos and conditioners that don't have any sulfates, silicone, stuff like that. So it timed out pretty good. 
and I'm almost out of the shampoo I usually use. I usually, I just have like a two-in-one conditioner, but I have learned that that has sulfates, which is evidently what strips your hair a lot. So I got these two, and they say on the front that they're silicone-free, so I don't, I'm, and I'm not sure if they have any sulfates or anything like that in it, but I feel like we can at least take one step and not have any silicones in our hair. So these are just the Garnier Whole Blends Replenishing Shampoo and Conditioner Silicone Free, the Legendary Olive, whatever. It says Replen replenishes moisture to dry hair. And I think my hair, I mean, it gets kind of oily, but it's also, especially at the ends and stuff is pretty dry. So I figured those would be good. We'll give them a try. I got sour cream to make some ranch dip for our chips. I already have the little other little packet. Um, we used up all our chili when we made hot dogs the other night, so I made sure to get chili. Um, ketchup, we also used up all the ketchup the other night when we made hot dogs, so I had to get some more because we use ketchup often. Another hair thing, I'm about out of mousse, and I've seen a lot of other YouTubers talk about the Not Your Mother Curl Talk, so I grabbed some of that. And it's, you know, sometimes when you hear people talk about something on YouTube, you automatically think that it's like more expensive. But really, this isn't that much more expensive than what I normally use. So, I'm pretty impressed. Got some Windex. I really need to clean our mirror. It's really nasty. Aluminum full because I use a lot of that. Life hack, whenever I put anything in the oven, I always put aluminum foil over the pan. That makes it where your food doesn't get all over the pan and you don't have to wash it every single time you use it. You can just take off the aluminum foil and throw it away. Sliced cheese because we're probably gonna do hamburgers one night this week. And my favorite John Boy and Billy sauce. I am planning on, I usually just buy the frozen wings and dip this sauce in it but i already have a good amount of chicken in the freezer so i think what i'm going to do one night this week is make chicken tenders and dip them in these and basically make them like super big boneless wings but that's that's all out of one bag and here's the other bag got some plain chips for our dip got some hamburger buns for hamburgers i'm running out of space there's my receipt. Chocolate milk. Adam really likes chocolate milk, so I got him some of that. And just recently, I have fallen in love with the YoPlay Whips yogurt. It's like, it says it's low fat and stuff, but to me, it tastes just like yogurt. Like, it doesn't taste nasty. So I got strawberry, which I absolutely love. I got chocolate to try. And I've got the sea salt caramel mousse flavor which is super good but i got five of those those will last me a week and lastly i got hamburger meat because we just used our last pack last night when we made tacos so i needed to get some more last time i went to the store they didn't have any so luckily this time they did so i only got two because i'm not going to be a hoarder and plus i have chicken and other meats i can fix too i don't need like six packs of hamburger Plus our freezer would not hold that much. So, oh, and I got Pepsi. That's on the floor though. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know what Pepsi looks like. I'm going to put all of that away and do some work and eat lunch because it is 11 o'clock. And I want to show you my new book that I'm obsessed with. I don't know, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I had ordered this. This is the newest Hunger Games Saga book from Suzanne Collins. It's called The Ballad of the Sombers and the Snake, and it is written, not from the perspective because it's not in first person, but it's written about President Snow, which if you've seen the Hunger Games, you know he's the guy that's in charge, and he's kind of like, you know, he wants the Hunger Games to go on, Katniss doesn't, all that stuff. But it is written about his life. It doesn't say exactly how old he is, but I'm assuming he's like 18 because he's supposed to be a senior in whatever school it is and he has to be a mentor in the Hunger Games for a District 12 girl. And I don't want to tell you anything else because that might spoil it, but I'm only four chapters in but it is super good. And I just love the way that Suzanne Collins writes, so automatically I love it. I'm obsessed with the Hunger Games. 
I'm obsessed with the books. I'm obsessed with the movies. I have all of them on Amazon and I've made Adam watch them even though they're not his favorite. But I'm gonna do work and I'm gonna read this bad boy later. But I highly suggest picking this up if you like the Hunger Games movies or the Hunger Games books. I will put the link down below. You can just get it off Amazon. And I think some Walmarts are selling them. But anyways, I will link it down below if you want to get it. Also, if you want to see a review after I get done, let me know that too. I've got to get to work and put all this stuff back where it's supposed to be and do school work because I've answered emails because that was pretty easy to do at the DMV, but at the store I wasn't able to get anything done because obviously I was getting groceries and not on my phone. So I'm going to do some work, read some of this, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. guys if you know me you know that I'm awful about closing the vlog so it is the next day and I just got done editing the vlog and getting it ready to go up today so my hair is up in a bun we're doing whatever I have a lot to do today a lot of meetings so I just wanted to close it out though because well I feel like I should and I need to get better about that but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you like the little mini grocery store haul and coming along on errands with me. If you haven't already, go on ahead and hit the subscribe button because that helps support me. Also hit the like button if you like this content so I know to keep making it. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Don't forget I post videos every Thursday and Sunday. Bye guys.